Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I've got what I feel is an exceptional video for you guys to take a look at. Recently one of my subscribers asked me if it's better to hunt with a hollow point pellet or with a pointed pellet. And I gave it a lot of thought and what I eventually came up with was that it depends on what type of game that you're after for what type of ammunition you should use. I went ahead and compared two widely accepted hunting rounds. The A on the left here, Crossman Premier hollow point pellet in 177 caliber against the uh, one of the best penetrating pointed pellets that I know of, the uh, Crossman Destroyer pointed hunting pellet also in 177 caliber. Now this little ballistics model in front of you is made up of a glycerin soap block that has about a quarter inch of glycerin soap on the top of it there to simulate flesh and fur and skin and fat and all that type of stuff followed by aluminum, two sheets of glycerin soap soaked cardboard another sheet of aluminum, two more sheets of glycerin soaked cardboard, and a final sheet of aluminum to simulate the uh, harder bone structure of, of the larger end of small game. And what I mean by that is like probably large red squirrels, small raccoons, small possums, stuff like that. Anything with like that, uh, that harder bone structure that definitely needs more, uh, more penetration to take down. So we have that simulated here in our ballistics model. And uh, I shot it for my Big Cat 1200. Good accepted hunting rifle for uh, 177 caliber air guns. And again, CPHP, Crossman Premier on the left, Crossman Destroyer on the right. Hmm. Initial impact. You can see that the uh, Crossman Destroyer did have as good of an impact or better than the Crossman Premier hollow point. And you can also see that it shed most of its uh, hollow point cup and ring in the first say three eighths of an inch right before it passed through that simulated bone there. Here's where it really gets interesting guys. On a larger animal with a harder bone structure Crossman Premier Hollow Point crushed a dent in the simulated skull but did not pass through the way that the Crossman Destroyer did after shedding its Hollow Point Cup on entry. This is an excellent example in my opinion of why you should use Hollow Points on squirrels and smaller in my own personal opinion and Crossman destroyers or similar penetrating pellets in uh, in things larger than squirrels. I think you can clearly see exactly why. The hollow point has a very wide energy dispersion here, but it does not pass all the way through this bone structure. And you can see that this cardboard is actually very dense once it soaks in with the soap. So I think that this this actually probably simulates a. Uh, thicker bone structure fairly well you know and um, to see the impact here with no pass through followed by the crossman destroyer punching all the way through and punching through the soft tissue on the other side <clears throat> excuse me I think this is why uh, why in my personal opinion it is best to be using at least the uh, penetration level of a Crossman Destroyer on larger game rather than a hollow point pellet. Now the impact of that hollow point pellet in my opinion would be enough to knock prey over as far as like take it off its feet, potentially knock it unconscious, hurt it badly, maybe kill it in a perfect world but do you really want to bring that maybe into it? I'm in the outdoors and uh sportsman and uh, hunting game but not so much the the pain and suffering game so I'm not sure for me personally I'd want to take a shot at something larger with that that really expansive uh, not as good penetrating round there on the right as I would with that the crossman destroyer 
in any event, I know I'm kind of rambling, but this test really got me excited because I felt like I conclusively found a good way in the same type of a target with a soft target behind it to show the difference between pointed and hollow point pellets. In any event, if you have any feedback with uh, how I performed this test, or uh, you haven't already and you'd like to rate and subscribe, feel free to. And uh, thanks a lot, you guys.